What if Jesus came to your church? What if Jesus came to your church to worship? Now, let me fill you in here. Jesus was a Jew. And Luke 4 and verse 16 says, For as his custom was, this was his custom, this was his tradition, this is what he did, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Yes, Jesus kept the fourth commandment. He kept the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. Okay? So if Jesus showed up at your church on the Sabbath day, on Saturday, he'd find an empty parking lot. He'd be knocking on the door and nobody's home. The lights are on, but nobody's home. There's nobody there to greet me on my Sabbath day. Listen, Sunday is the first work day of the week. What does Jesus expect you to be doing on the first work day of the week? Well, okay, six days shall you labor, but the seventh is the Sabbath of God, the Sabbath of the Lord. This is not a suggestion. This is a command. You know, we, uh, not only do we overlook that we're supposed to be keeping the Sabbath, but you're supposed to be working on the first work day of the week, the second work, work day of the week, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and you're supposed to rest on the Sabbath day. Malachi 3 and verse 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Let me tell you something. You can put this in your pipe and smoke it. Jesus Christ doesn't change. Now, you may change him, but he doesn't change. James 1 and verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. With God there is no vari variation and there is no turning. I change not. The Sabbath day was a gift from God to mankind. And Jesus says, I don't change. If Jesus came to your church on the Sabbath, he'd probably find an empty church. Six days shall you labor, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. We're talking about the commandments of God here. And Jesus says, I don't change.